Welcome back, boys and girls. And the title of today's story is Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash. Story by Sarah Weeks and pictures by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Boys and girls, let's read to find out what Mrs. McNosh hangs up. And I have a feeling that it's more than just her clothes. <laughs> let's go. Each Monday at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. It takes her all morning, and when the sun's high, she hangs what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. She hangs up the dresses, she hangs up the shirts, she hangs up the underwear, nightgowns, and skirts. She hangs up the stockings. She hangs up the shoes. She wrings out the paper and hangs up the news. <gasps> she hangs up the dog and his dish and his bone. She gets a wrong number and hangs up the phone. <sighs> She hangs up a hat and an old wedding gown and two sleepy bats, which she hangs upside down. She hangs up a lamp and a large Christmas wreath and Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. She hangs up a kite by the tip of its tail. The postman arrives and she hangs up the mail. She hangs till she's hung every last thing in sight, including the turkey she's roasting that night. Each Monday by dusk, Mrs. Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. Oh no, boys and girls, what is she getting ready to do now? Let's read to find out. She takes off her apron and lets down her hair, then hangs herself up in a comfortable chair. The end. What a funny story. That Mrs. McNosh, she's funny, isn't she? Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. And I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.